Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to implement the while statement. Now in the previous lesson we learned how to implement the for statement and today we're going to learn how to implement the while statement also using counter controlled repetition. So all four rules still apply. When we are using the while statement in a counter controlled manner we still need a counter variable, we still need to initialize the counter variable, and we still need to have a condition, and lastly, we still need to increment or decrement that variable. So, if we quickly have a look at the counter controlled loop again, now we can visualize this as a while statement. First, we initialize, then we have a condition. If that condition is true, code inside this loop. In our case, the while, while loop will be executed, the counter will be updated, and this will be repeated until the condition is false. Let's go to code blocks and see how we will implement the while statement using counter controlled repetition. First of all, what we will do is we will create a counter variable called i. The counter variable i is called i for the reason all counter variables in programming start at i. The next, if we need an extra counter variable, will be j, gay, and etc. After we have created the counter variable, we need to initialize the counter variable to a starting point. Then we will be able to use the while statement and then give a condition. Now the while statement is different from the for loop in the sense that the for loop encapsulates the, in the incrementation, the condition and the initialization in the round brackets. Whereas the while statement only has one condition, like for instance in the case of a if statement. So while i is smaller than 10. So now we know that this while statement will repeat itself 10 times depending on how we will increment the counter variable and if we increment the counter variable with 1 each time. So let's not increment the counter variable with 1 but with 2. Let's see what happens. So we will say i is equal to i plus 2. Now the shorthand for this will be i is plus equal 2. That's the shorthand. And then what we will do is we will go and print out the counter variable. So we will say percentage d and I semicolon. So we have a while with a condition i is smaller than 10, the starting point is 0, and we will increment with 2 each time we repeat the loop. So now let's see what happens. But before we build and run, let's quickly try to think what's going to happen. So first of all, we know that i will be 0, and we will display 0. Then i will, would have been incremented with 2. 2 is still smaller than 10, so we will print out 2. And so on. Let's see what happens. We press build and run. And then we see 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So there's no zero. Zero is not printed out. So the reason why zero was not printed out is because we first increment with two and then we display. If these two statements was turned around, we should have first printed out zero and then increment. But now we increment first, so the first time we print i will be equal to 2. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. 
So we increment with two. So we have a total five loops. And that's it. That's how you will implement the while statement using counter controlled repetition. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.